Let's continue our education on the topic of digestive tract. Today is small intestine and the topic is small intestine bacterial overgrowth. We will talk about causes, symptoms, diagnostic methods, treatment, only a big picture because I will be covering in individual lectures the treatment in the details and please no antibiotics. The clinical presentation could be similar to pancreatic insufficiency. So the previous video on this educational course is exactly on enzymatic insufficiency from the pancreas. Please see that and make sure that you're on the right treatment plan. Also, I have a video on small intestine and its function where I already started to cover um, the, um, a little bit about uh, SIBO. You have to understand the anatomy of uh, small intestine because the bugs that come here into small intestine, they could come from the digestive tract and the stomach is supposed to kill them. If the stomach has a low production of hydrochloric acid, then you don't kill them and the bugs come into small intestine. Environment here in the small intestine created by the liver, bile drains here, and also pancreas located here from pancreatic juices. If you don't create right environment to thrive for, uh, for uh, uh, beneficial bacteria, then pathogenic bacteria will continue to grow. Also, it's small intestine connected to the large intestine. Environment here is very different and bacteria in, in large intestine different. If you have a constipation, so everything back up, pathogenic bacteria grows here and it will come here into small intestine and will create a damage. Please see this video. So um, I still taking, um, people in and uh, you can get it, to get my attention if you will take my course and then first session, coaching session will be free. Now causes. So as I said, decreased production of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid did not kill the bugs that came here with the food and the bugs go here into the small intestine and create dysbiosis. Problem with the liver and gallbladder. Here is the liver. So uh, damage to the liver and uh, uh, disbalance of uh, bile that drains here into small intestine doesn't create right environment. So the same could be said about pancreatic juices. So you have to create the right environment right here in the small intestine. Previous bacterial or viral infections such as Salmonella, Shigella, um, when people travel abroad and they come back with Girardia, so all of that will create a damage to the lining of the uh, small intestine tract and it will create inflammation and will contribute to, uh, it will contribute to benefit to pathogenic bacteria. Drugs, antibiotics, and non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. So all of that will, uh, antibiotic will just create dysbiosis spirit. I have a lot of against antibiotic, especially like kids taking for acne. Chemicals come from uh, food. Example, high fructose corn syrup, bugs, love, sugar, dairy. I have a video on that topic. Dairy, we don't digest, if you don't digest very well, then it will create irritation, inflammation. Constipation in the large intestine again. So everything back up, bugs from large intestine will go back into small intestine. It will and will create this balance. And the finally, here the last. The reason it is last immune system health is because usually immune system becomes unhealthy, not because it's just, oh, I will become unhealthy, because something stimulate immune system, it will become overstimulated, overreactive, or understimulated. It's a verse of, so it's a secondary usually problem. When I was a young, beautiful graduate from the medical school, we knew about maybe 15 beneficial bugs in digestive tract and maybe 10 or 15 pathogenic. Now we believe that there are 500 or even more species of bugs. So, and the concentration of the bug is important. So duodenum, this 25 centimeters, 15, 25 centimeters has a colony of um, uh, bugs and they mostly of them gram positive cocky and rods. Jugenum, 15 meters has a this concentration and uh, enterococcus, lactobacillus and candida prevalent there. Uh, ilium is the one that uh, 10 or 15 meters long and connects to the large intestine, has a a similar community to uh, large intestine or has anaerobic bugs and uh, gram positive and negative um, uh, rods and cocks. Okay, so this slide is to, to make sure that you understand what's going on. This is the normal when you have uh, good bugs and bad bugs, and this is enterocytes and they have mucosal layer. So, and the relationship between uh, good and bad 
in, and bad, the imbalance. If you kill the good ones, so the, the bad one become prevalent and they start to invade. The, in this example, the pathogenic bugs are prevalent. They start to eat through your mucosal layer and they create a damage to enterocytes and they can actually enter lymphatic um, drainage system. And once when they through the enter, damage the enterocytes and get into the um, uh, through the digestive tract, into lymph and into the bloodstream, that's when the immune, immune system gets become involved. It starts at oh my God, we have a problem here. And immune system starts to produce immunoglobulin A that will come here and actually will start to fight. This is a stimulation of immune system when the digestive tract is not healthy. And the symptoms will be pain, bloating, crumbs, diarrhea, constipation, um, uh, feeling of fullness, gas, fatty stool, we also could be pancreatic insufficiency, undigested particles of the food uh, in the stool, and the result patient become uh, malnourished. Testing for SIBO, breast test and uh, culture. Keep in mind that um, only a few bugs could be cultured on the Petri dish. Most of them, we know that they are there by doing genetic studies of them. So they are there, we just, they just don't grow on, um, uh, on um, outside the uh, small intestine. The treatment will depend exactly on the cause. So if you have a low production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach and don't kill the bugs that come into your, into your stomach with the food, um, so then those bugs will go into small intestine and will thrive here. Problem with uh, gallbladder, pancreatic insufficiency, solve it, create the right environment for beneficial bugs. Uh, deal with bacterial viral infection, stop taking antibiotics. Uh, stop eating junk. Uh, if dairy irritates the digestive tract, eliminate, fix the constipation. And by the way, for dairy and for constipation, I already have videos here on my uh, YouTube channel. And only then, never, never in your life deal with immune system just because you want to stimulate immune system for any, for any reason. Immune system is not going to be stimulated, overstimulated, unless there is a reason. There is some uh, low-grade uh, infection in the body. Um, that's it, guys. Um, like, subscribe. Was I fast? It's because I'm becoming a YouTuber. I have a real question for you guys. I noticed that people, I create, I think I create a good content. My videos four, five, six, sometimes seven minutes. But I noticed that people are watching two minutes, 23 seconds, my videos. I wonder, I, I wonder why. Please comment. Let me know. I'm still in the learning process. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye.